and welcome back to RC Model Reviews and today something a little different. Well, who remembers what this is? Anyone recognize this mini quad? Um, pretty old fashioned, isn't it? In fact, yes, it is the mini quad that started the mini quad revolution. It's the original Blackout Mini H. I mean, you don't see many of these around anymore. This is the original one that was sent to me by Blackout the Drunk and which I reviewed and fell in love with and the rest is history, isn't it? Yes, um, this one has hasn't flown for a long time. In fact, it was cannibalized for parts because better machines came along. I mean, this, today's mini quads bear very little resemblance to this old mini quads. I thought what we'd do today is take a look at the old blackout and see perhaps what's changed. What, you know, how was this different to modern mini quads? And more importantly, let's get it back in the air. But I'm not talking about um, putting new props on the old 1806 motors and uh, throwing a naze five board in there and, and a board camera. No, 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 because I've got some products for review and I was thinking, how am I going to review these products and what are the products for review? Well, Free Sky some time ago sent me one of their integrated flight controller and receiver packages. Um, and these are very, very nice. Uh, basically, there is a receiver in there and it's got a flight controller. Um, if four, I think, flight controller and receiver. Don't know if it's got an OSD, probably has. Haven't looked too tightly. What does it say on the back? It says this is the XS, F, XSRF40, and it has, uh, where we go, 16 channels, hardware, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, it has OSD, so this is going to make this pretty state-of-the-art in terms of flight controllery, right? So we'll um, use the Free Sky test, flight test, the Free Sky receiver flight controller combo, and DYS sent me a little care package, which includes some of their cool 40-amp, 32-bit ESCs. Now, the big thing these days, of course, is a stack. You know, we put everything in a stack. We have a four-on-one ESC. We have a flight controller in a stack. We have a video transmitter in a stack. Well, these weren't very stack-oriented. But yeah, there's a place, but see, the flight controller is supposed to be mounted way up high. And so let's just go back with some traditional style components with separate ESCs, 40 amps. That's a lot. And, of course, these 1806 motors are so last century. So I'm going to use the motors. DY sent me some motors too. Look, woohoo! And these are, I think they're 24. 407s, quite grunty motors. Let's have a look here. I have to have a look off camera so I can read what it says here. Um, yep. Oh, 2207s. Okay, 2207s. So they're not as grunty as a 23 or 2407, but that's still quite a bit of heft in that motor. And this is, I think, their, what is it? Their FPV Race Edition motors, 2400 kV, 2450, something like that. Anyway, so we're going to put replace the motors with these, replace the ESCs with those, because these are the old... Hobby King 12, what is it, 12 amp blue ESCs. These are so old school, you know, and they didn't have dynamic braking or anything. They ran the, you know, really crappy software. So this is going to make a huge difference to this model. And, of course, I've got some cameras here from Foxia. Foxia sent some cameras for review. So gone will be the board camera. We don't want that. We want a modern, state-of-the-art, high-resolution camera with excellent wide dynamic range. We'll put that in there. And, of course... I might just stick my Mobius on there for fun, but remember, no up tilt in the old days. She was all straight ahead, you know, look straight ahead because we didn't put much tilt on because they weren't very fast. But um, I've got, I'm not sure what video transmitter I'll use. I've got, I think I've got a Foxy video transmitter. So this will be a review from three manufacturers. A good way to review three lots of products in one. We'll have the motors and ESCs from DYS. We'll have the flight controller and receiver from FreeSky. And we'll have the camera from Foxia. So there we go. It's going to be a really cool project. I know that uh, Rotor Riot, they got out some of their old school mini quads and a hexacop, the, the Blackout Hex actually. And they flew those a while back and it was really entertaining that video. You should go and watch it if you haven't watched it. I highly recommend it. But I don't want to, I know what it was like in the old days. I remember all too well, you know, the shakes and wobbles and the, the, the you know, the, the performance in quotes that these old machines had on 3S with 12 amp ESCs. So what I want to do is just see what happens in 2019 if you load up a mini h frame with all the latest gizmos will it actually fly like a modern quad or is this just going to be too feeble too weak because things like this top plate here it's so thin mount the battery on top it was designed for 3s if i put 4s on there i don't know that it's going to be strong enough it may break in the first landing the arms of course do look how thin they are compared to modern arms that they may not take much of a beating and we've got plastic standoffs so they've got to go i might put metal ones in because plastic yeah not really up to it once you start really putting some herbs through things so there we go um tell me what you think if there's anything you'd like to see in this what we call it um retro 
It'll be a retro rocket, won't it? <laughs> Hopefully it will be a real retro rocket. You tell me if there's something you particularly want to see in this build and I'll do it. But next few days, this will be together and then we'll do some test flights and you tell me what you think of the good old Blackout Mini H quad. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Oh, and thanks to my Patreon supporters and thumbs up if you like the video, thumbs down if you don't. Stay tuned because the long range sub 250 gram FPV project is nearing the point where I'm going to start doing some flights and that will be very interesting. Okay, bye for now.